FZ2 opens to the Start page. The banner can be changed to one of six images that relate to your use. The banner makes no change to the program, just to the Start page. The Start page provides several options for starting your work session. You can open a blank project, browse to a project, import a satellite image, or coordinate data. Recent history is displayed in thumbnails. You may also open links under Getting Started for a variety of resources offering training and reference. Under What's New, you will be notified of updates and information about FZ2. The UI is designed with persistent features and context-sensitive options. Along the top of the screen is the Quick Bar that always displays commonly used commands. Commands include Help, Mag Window Tool that shows a variable magnified view of the cursor location, also Zoom, Undo and Redo, Layer Manager, Preferences, Print, Cut Copy Paste, Save, Open, and New. Open Preferences to change the UI language, resolution settings, and UI size. Explore the options that include setting for where files are saved and the ability to change the UI colors to preset themes or design and save your own. Finally, the Utilities page allows further customization. Under the File menu are several other common commands, including Restore Backup to find backup files, several save commands, and another path to Preferences and Start Page screens. The About command will open a panel showing if your software is licensed, as well as a command to open log files, which can be sent to the support team if you encounter any problems. The Home ribbon is a great way to start your diagram. You can import a satellite image from Google Maps or an image from your PC. The Draw category on the Home ribbon has basic draw commands for points, lines, arcs, circles, continuous lines, curves, and rectangles. With the Text tool, you can add labels or text boxes to the diagram or bubble labels. Bubble labels stay loaded in the cursor until you click Escape on your keyboard. Measure a line or click the drop down menu to select another dimensioning tool, which will measure and display the dimension label. Click the Units command to select the units and decimal positions. Manage layers in the Layer panel. Other tools include Bring to Front and Send to Back. When drawing continuous lines, you have the option of freeform drawing or click Ortholock to restrict the line to horizontal and vertical drawing. Auto Snap displays snap points when you get close in the drawn object, which enables you to snap lines and curves automatically by getting close. Deselect Auto Snap to hide snap points. The Draw Edit ribbon expands the toolset found on the Home ribbon with more drawing options such as adding a start end middle arc or a start middle end mark. Under Circle, you have two-point circles, three-point circles, and ellipse. Under Rectangle, there is a two-point rectangle or an aligned rectangle. Cursor Align will be explained in another video. The Place Marker tool allows you to place precision markers along a line and offset if you wish. With Repeat checked, you can place multiple markers. Unique to this ribbon are strategic editing tools including Rotate, Move, Copy, Offset, Align, Group, Ungroup, Trim Extend, Snip, and Break. The Measurement ribbon allows you to import coordinate data, set the format, and see the data. Once placed, you can further format with point style, text height, colors, and angle. You have options to connect dots by common description. Lay down a baseline or triangulation log. Text labels and bubble labels are the same as on the home ribbon. Click and place dimensioning is made easy with a dimension tool for straight lines, angles, radius, length of objects, and area measurement notation. Where you have dimensioning, it's helpful to have a scale bar. Click, place, and resize as desired.
The Symbols ribbon posts thousands of symbols arranged by libraries. You also have the option to load symbols from legacy products and even AutoCAD. Click the Library command to open the libraries and click a shelf of symbols. You'll see it opens new ribbon options with several options beneath that. Placing a symbol is easy. Select the desired symbol, click to place, and click again to orient the symbol. Symbols can of course be moved and repositioned with the grips. Fire symbols that snap to buildings can easily be placed, moved, and resized. Notice the perpendicular guide showing you where perpendicular placement is. With so many symbols, it would be helpful to search the database with keywords. Just click the search button and enter a search term. Options will display for easy selection. The Power Tools ribbon enables speedy diagramming of intersections, structures, and bodies. They can be placed with a click, modified in the Tools panel. Templates are pre-drawn items that can be powerful shortcuts for diagramming. Furthermore, any drawings of your own can be saved as a template for repeated use. Saved in your Templates folder, they will then appear in the Templates list. Forms are preset report forms for fire and crime investigation. The form then encompasses your diagram. If you would rather make your own report form using the drawing tools, you can create a form with rectangles, text boxes, or images and save it as a form for continued use. As the other forms, it will encompass your diagram. FZ2 employs a helpful grip and snap system that makes drawing simple. Grips are used to resize, scale, move, and rotate objects. Hold the control key down while rotating to restrain it to 45 degree positions. When you click the ortho command, the object will move only horizontally or vertically, or rotate in 45 degree increments. Notice Auto Snap is on by default. When a drawing tool is active, the snaps appear at corners, midpoints, and center. Objects snap to the points. When an object is close to perpendicular, the perpendicular guide displays. Click to set it perpendicularly. When you move an object over a snap, it lights up at contact points and will snap in place when you release. A powerful time saver for productivity is FC2's built-in two-letter codes. Revealed when you hover over each command, and available as a table in the user manual and online help, two-letter codes can drastically increase your development speed. Rather than clicking the command, type the two-letter code on your keyboard to activate the tool. There are also codes shown on the drop-down menus. Thank you for joining us in this overview of the Ferrozone 2D User Interface. Online courses are available at Faro Academy, and more tutorial videos can be found on YouTube.